Really quick, guys, I do have a sponsorship deal here with Messy Modding Store. Uh, pretty much, it's just a store where you can go and buy modded accounts for Red Dead Redemption 2 online or for GTA Online if you're interested in that. And uh, you can also, like for the PC version, you can buy straight up just cash, gold bars, whatever. Uh, and then for the consoles and stuff, you can already you can buy accounts that already have gold bars, you know, already have money, uh, certain levels, whatever, just depending on what you're looking for. And yeah, I'll link this in the description. Uh, you can go ahead and go check it out if you are interested in that. If you're not, that's fine. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. Hey guys, the Better Editor. I'm coming at you guys with a quick, uh, quick little video. The other day I was talking about how there's a fishing bonus on them fish out there. And you can earn quite a bit of money doing it right now because there's 50% more money that you get from selling them to butchers. And also the thing about this is, uh, in that video, I talked about how you could combine stranger missions while doing, like, while fishing and earn you some extra stuff and earn gold while doing it too, plus some XP. And I'm going to be showing you that pretty much and the best way to go about that because some of you might be newer players or something like that and you don't know where you should go and, and everything like that. And the best spot for you to go to is Valentine. Start up a stranger mission around Valentine. For me, I got lucky and the boy was there, like, actually in Valentine. If not, then you can go to the train station and talk to that guy that's in there. And I have the hunting wagon, so I have the luxury of being able to put something in a wagon and hold more than one. Uh, but you, if you don't have the hunting wagon, this is what you want to do. You want to find one of these out in the wild. It's a screenshot that I got put up on the video that you can look at. You want to find one of those, and uh, if you catch northern pike, right, which is a, a very big fish, you can actually walk up on a rock, and, like, you got to find one that has, like, a ramp slide to it that you can actually walk up. And you want to park that wagon beside that rock to where you could, like, stand on the rock and essentially drop the fish down into the wagon. And you can hold a bunch of them in there. Just be careful on your way back to Valentine while hauling them there because they could like break the wagon and fall out or something. So just be very, very careful when you bring that wagon back up there. And also you can put one on your horse, so don't forget about that. But if you have a hunting wagon, you can fit five of them in there. I had a couple legendary skins in there, so I could only hold like three or so. So that's, that's what I did. I put three in the hunting wagon and one on my horse. And the, what you want to do, though, is start up your stranger mission, whichever one it is, and then make your way to this spot on the map right here, the Dakota River. And there's these things called Northern Pike that's going to spawn here. Extremely huge fish, and you can sell them for $12 a piece. Uh, usually they go for about 8 bucks a piece, but where there's a 50% bonus, they're selling, they're selling for $12 a piece. So if you get, if you, let's say you had a hunting wagon, and you put five in the hunting wagon, and you put one on your horse you would earn like 72 bucks from that plus the money that you would earn from the uh stranger mission now this one that i did for the boy i started the mission up and then i went and fished for a while waiting on the timer to go down and your goal is you want to finish the mission after 12 minutes have went by usually after 12 minutes in a mission uh, you get the full reward for it. Now, if the mission isn't as long as 12 minutes, I would wait until like the last minute or 30 seconds-ish before you turn it in. Or like if it's a destroy supplies mission, I would just destroy all the supplies but one and then wait on the timer to tick down and then destroy the last one. But uh, this mission right here was actually a really bad payout. The gold was decent. I got .32 gold and about 300 XP, but I got like $13 for the mission, and that's like how much one of those fish sell for. So I got I kind of got screwed out of that one, uh, but I went and sold my fish at the butcher that I got while waiting on the timer to tick down, and I did get me a lot of extra money there. It was about 40-something bucks that I got extra for selling those fish. But yeah, guys, that's really all I wanted to talk about. Just make it quick and then uh, do a two for McDo for today. I, I rarely ever put out multiple videos in a day. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys did like this video, then give it a like. If you dislike this video, then give it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit the sub button. You will see more. Other than all that stuff, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. LBB. -bye.